Hello viewers, let's find a solution to this interesting equation. The equation on the board says 3 raised power x squared plus 9 raised power x squared is equals to 2. So, solution, we have an equation that says 3 raised power x squared. So, uh, we know that we can raise uh, 3 into power 2 to give us uh, 9. So this is, I can rewrite this as 3 raised power x squared plus 3 squared raised power x squared is, the same, is equals to 2. Uh, so this is 3 raised power x squared uh, plus. So I can write, still write this as 3 raised power uh, x squared squared is equals to uh, 2 that is going by by the law of our uh, indices so now and here I have 3 raised, uh, raised power x squared I also have another 3 raised power x squared so I cannot uh, make this 3 raised power x squared and this 3 raised power to be equals to 2 that means I cannot make uh, all the contents uh, in the left hand side uh, to be equals to all the contents in the right hand side because yeah, to the right hand side I have 2 while to the, right, to the left hand side I have 3 raised power x squared and another 3 raised power uh, x squared so now in order to ease the solution or make it uh, a little bit simpler or understandable let's try to introduce an unknown that will be equals 3 raised power x squared so that by the time we obtain the value of that uh, variable or, or, or none will be able to uh, get the value of 3 raised power x squared so now uh, uh, let y be equals to 3 raised power x squared so that anywhere i see 3 raised power x squared i put uh, uh, y this is the first one is y because the whole of this is now y is representing the whole of 3 raised power x squared so i have plus this positive sign so the whole 3 raised power x squared will be equals to y then y i have squared so i'll put the squared uh, everything is now equals to 2 so i can i can transfer this 2 to the left side so i have y squared plus y minus 2 is equal to zero and this is quadratic equation so let me see whether i can factorize this quadratic equation uh two bracket equals zero so uh the coefficient of y here is one so i can put y here i can put y here then i need to look for two uh numbers that when i multiply them i get minus two and when i add or subtract i get uh plus one and these numbers should be plus should be minus one and plus two because minus one plus two uh, is the same thing as one which is y and minus one multiplying positive two is uh negative two so we, we know the product rule is either y minus one is equals to zero or y plus two is equals to zero that means it's either y is equals to 1 or y is equals to minus 2 but remember we were asked to find the values of or the values or value of x and not y so now if if y is equals to 1 that means 3 raised power x squared is equals to 1 so we can see that uh we know that any any number raised to the power of zero is equals to one so i can make this to be three raised power of zero so this is three as for x squared is equals to three raised power of zero and this three will go with this three so uh my my x will now x squared will now be equals to uh, 0 so x will now be equals to 
in the square root of 0 so which is equals to 0 so x is now equals to 0 that is when y is 1 so now when y is equals to minus 2 we know so, so we, we can see that uh we have two different things here we have three raised power x squared uh we have minus two uh different people will have different approach to this particular step some people may decide to introduce a natural log uh which is absolutely very correct uh some people may decide to put log uh to both sides to add log to both sides uh they are very correct and i decide to let 3 raised power x be equals to a or any number so that anywhere i see 3 raised power of x i put a so here i have a squared is equals to minus 2 and a is equals to the square root of minus 2 and a is now equals to uh infinity so that means and this particular equation this particular equation has only one solution which is zero that means the value of x in this equation is equals to zero it has only one solution and let's try to see whether it is true that zero will uh will be equals to two as far as the right hand side is given in this particular equation so uh if if the value of x is, is equals to zero that means 3 raised power 0 because it's 0. 0 squared is still 0 plus 9 raised power 0. 0 squared is still 0. So let's see whether uh, it will it be equal to the right hand side, which is equal to 2. So which is n raised power 0 is 1 plus n raised power 0 is 1, uh, which is equal to uh, uh, 2. So we can see that this particular equation has only one solution and which is zero and zero is the value that satisfied this particular equation and this is all i have for you for today my viewers if you really understand that try and let me see the value of y uh, in the comment section have a lovely day